All right, we got another build to work on. This time it is one of my, one of the top five of my favorite castings. The panel van. Look at that bad boy. The owner of this wants it changed into something different, and we're going to reuse these wheels. But he does not like this whole thing, and he's not and he's not going to be displaying it in the package, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's get to it. First thing is getting out of the package. That's always easy when they don't care about the package. That makes that super easy, doesn't it? <laughs> and that is a short casting. One post on the front, very small one, so that's going to be a 172. It's funny how on their premium cars they use smaller posts. And on the regular ones, they use the larger posts, but he wants to reuse these wheels, so if I paint the base, which I more than likely will, I'll have to tape those off. Tape them off, not take them off. But we got to get this bad boy apart, so luckily there's only one post. You know the process. Dab of oil. Everything in life works better with lubrication including drill bits because what happens is that protects it from overheating and it helps keep it sharp and since this is such a small rivet actually you know second thoughts it's not that small i was looking at it wrong it's just the way that it's done it just looks like it so we can we can use a 256 so i am glad because i have plenty of those i don't have many 172 so i gotta get some Gotta find somewhere to order some from. But we're just going to drill it out, take her apart. All right, comes right apart. Man, look at how fat those back tires are. I like that. That looks good. Hot Wheels needs to start selling wheels separately you know like put a couple different ones in a pack and call it done and this is just like the premium that i did for james hewitt so these will actually come right out look at that how loose they are the front ones are even the same way so i may take them out so i can paint the base and then put them back in we'll see we'll see but for now let's give it its own little um thing so i can keep up with all the parts Interior, plain Jane as always. What in the world is that? What is that supposed to be? Oh, amps for the speakers. Okay, cool. Man, there's some big speakers. <laughs> so there's that. Now let's get the interior out. The windshield pops right out. Close that big boy up. Put it up. So I can do what needs to be done to it. Where'd that go to? But now I'm just going to drill this post out a little bit more and square it off with the file so the base will go in and out like it's supposed to and then we'll we'll get rid of that paint job because nobody really cares for that paint job. I ain't got it all drilled out. Now I'm just going to round off this post so it'll go in and out of the base like it's supposed to. And this one will be ready for the stripper, but I gotta, I gotta put a screw in it first, of course. If you've never watched one of my videos, the reason I put screws in it was well, twofold for me. First one is it allows me to put the base on and off. Well, it allows me to secure the base, and then if anything ever happens, I can take it right off by just removing the screw. So that allows me to change out wheels as time progresses or if anything happens to the paint job, you know, after I get rid of the car. Like if it's a commission build or my build, whatever, I can take it back apart, repaint it, do whatever I need to do to it without damaging anything. Number two, it keeps all kind of trash and stuff out from that hole. Like the decals that's actually left over in the Sitzer strip and st stuff like that. 
the paint stripper there's anything in there including the paint stripper itself it keeps that out so that's the two reasons I do it plus it makes it just look professional looking so let's put a screw out and this one only takes one because it has a tab on the back of it where the base slides on it right there that goes into the base and then the front is held on by that so whenever I go to paint it I'm gonna have to angle my helping hand so one of them's against the bottom and one of them is holding the screw because this is a premium casting and it's a little heavier than a regular one but that's stated you know whenever I go to paint and prime and all that stuff I don't want it falling, I don't want it hitting the ground, I don't want it coming loose, I don't want it scuffing the paint, anything like that. So I'll have one here and I'll have one pushing up against that. A lot of people would actually use that tab, but that tab will be seen. Let me show you. If you look real good, there's a slot right there. That tab goes in there and then boom, like that. So we want that. Not that it matters, I mean I could paint it black or whatever, but it's got to be painted some kind of color unless I just polish it and leave it like the base but the base on this paint job base on this vehicle is going to get a custom paint job also so with that stated that's the reason for it I typically paint my bases anyway typically there's some cases where I don't but typically I do because if you go buy a brand new car this color you crawl up underneath it you're not going to have a bare base it's going to be painted the same color so I try to make my cars as in real life most of the time now we've had rain for the past two and a half hours so the ground around here should be good and slippy i'm gonna try to remember to paint that just like that so we'll try to remember they did some good detail work on this brake lights are painted running lights turn signals headlights looks really good really good but anyhow she went off the road and now she's in a stripper Uh, now we're just going to give it the once over to look for any casting lines from where they had it in, in any kind of mold or any kind of frame and you know just give it a once over to see if there's anything that we can fix now because let's face it your finished job is only as good as your start job so if you start with a good job you're going to finish with a good job so we just look and take mental notes of everything that might need to be sanded or filed or or anything that can be fixed at this point any any pits or scratches or anything that we can be that can be removed because uh, typically the flat panels always need to be sanded because they always have small pits in it from the casting but this one is in really good shape I mean I can't believe it, it, it looks as good as it does considering but with this being a premium you know sometimes they take better care of the premiums than, than when they the regular mainline now we're just going to hit everything with the file, everything that we took note of, and 
and go from there just you know we use the bodies multi-packs have different shapes different sizes and we just keep working with it until we're satisfied that we have everything off and of course that's going to leave some file marks but that will be taken care of when we do the sanding which is what we're going to do now we're going to start off with 150 that will get rid of the file marks and the in the really rough pits and stuff like that and then we'll follow it up with a 320 is what i have then 400 and 800 then a thousand if i need to go higher than that i don't have anything higher except for 3500 4000 all the way up to 12,000 and that's not going to do any good on for this process plus we don't need it because this one's going to be primed and pot and painted it's not going to be a polished job so yeah, once we get it sanded and everything we want to take a soft bristle toothbrush or whatever kind of brush you got paintbrush whatever and just run run it over the body to knock any dirt any filing material any sanding material out of the crack so that we can get one final look at it before we do the priming and painting because it's easier to take care of something now than if we would wait until we primed it and then noticed it or painted it and noticed it because then I have to go back in the stripper and start this whole process over and sometimes just the sanding and filing can take hour two hours at the minimum so like I said you just want to get it clean and and see if there's anything you really need to touch up and sometimes the paper towel will put a, a little smart fine scratch in it or something but nothing to be worried about the paint and polish the paint and primer will take care of that and there was one little scratch in it that was on the top that I just couldn't get rid of but I'm pretty sure the paint and primer will hide that if not Maybe the decal that I'm going to put on it. Alright, got everything set up outside today because it's a beautiful day. We had rain showers come through this morning. And it's been 96 and 97. And today it's only a blistery 71 degrees. So I figured we'd come outside and do this today and, and share the weather. <coughs> so I have three bodies out here with three bases. And we're going to try to get them all primed up. And that's all we're doing today is priming them. I'm using auto Autoborn Sealer Black. I really like this stuff it works good it, yeah it sticks good it holds good and when I that's not to say when I run out I may not try something else but right now I'm really loving this stuff we have a 56 Ford we have the panel van and we have the Impala so let's get everything going and as you can see it's a polished base it looks really good but we're gonna have to paint it because I believe in painting the bases 99% of the time same color as the car so let's get it painted up or primed anyway And there's the base. Now we just set it down to the side and let her dry. Move on to the body. And a word of caution about using degreasers, okay? You have to use them to get the dirt and your body fluids and stuff out of it, off the car. Otherwise the paint won't stick right. Now with that said, be sure to dry the car when you do that because if you don't, it can cause discolorize, discoloration. There's nothing on it. Right, this is just a spot where it, it changed the color of the metal a little bit as it did there. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just that it, it changed it. I wanted to point that out so you'd know. But we're going to paint this just like all the other ones, light coats. We're going to hit the inside first and then the outside. We're going to hit all the, the panels from the tops, then we'll hit it from the sides.
Next step, we're going to be doing the panel truck and the base, and we're going to do that in green, uh, candy green. So let's get that thing care of. We'll do the paint in. And like always, I start with the base in case we have any issues. And you can see how good this candy paint goes on over a, a, a metallic base. I mean, just look at how good that looks. Now we'll hit the body. Starting with the inside, like always. Light coach just to get things going. And we'll let that dry for a few minutes. All right. As you can see, Stang's had plenty of time to set up and she's looking good. Yes, sir, looking real good. But it's time for decals because this particular car is going to get decals. So what are we going to be using, you may be asking. Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let me show you. All right, what we have up, the owner of this vehicle wanted it to be a rat fink. Yes, sir. So, the idea is to put that big bed boy on top and the smaller ones on the side, and then we'll see what we have room for after that. Maybe something, maybe nothing. But I believe a big RF would look good on the hood, too, or at least on the very back. So let's get these bed boys cut up and get to it. It's going to fit pretty good. It looks like there might be a little bit of overlap, but I think that'll be fine. By the time we get it exactly where we want it, and then put all the chemicals and stuff on it, should I think I'm gonna go for the middle, just like that. All right, let's get this bad boy finished up. I personally think that this thing is gorgeous. I got the clear coat on and everything. Now look at the shine on that bad boy. Holy cow. Just look at that beautiful car. Did the rear brake lights, the headlights, the turn signals. Just look at how sharp that turned out. Woo woo! I actually want to keep this one, <laughs> but I can't for somebody else. But we're gonna get this bad boy put together, so let's do it. Now I actually like to let the paint job tell the story, and unless you can just really, really see the interior, I don't do a lot of interior detailing for that reason. You can't see it, so why waste time and why let it take away from the paint job? That you're, that you're putting on the car. Let's see, that one's empty. That one's for the other car. That one's for the Impala. That, this one is for this car. You know, you don't, you don't want it to take away from the overall paint job. 
And I started to paint this interior on this particular car a different color, but I decided against it. I actually had it, I actually cleaned it, had it ready to go and everything, and then I decided against it at the last minute because the red and green is just going to go so good together. But I did do a little detailing on the amps for the, the speakers and the speakers themselves, and you're not going to see them because you won't be able to see inside the back window because of the tinted glass. But, I, you know, I pretty much just left that as is for the simple reason of you're not going to be able to see it. So there's just no need in me wasting my time doing it, so I didn't. But we're going to put this bad boy back together. That way it can get on its merry way to its appropriate owner. And just like the base, I did glue these in because the metal pegs... I'm sorry, I got you off camera. Because the metal pegs weren't holding it. You remember all the flop? Well, now there's no flop. So I got them glued in, but they roll perfect. No detailing on the base. I did paint it and I did clear coat it. Because like I said, I like for the late I like to let the paint jobs do the talking. And you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. Alright, got that in. And there's only one screw holding it. But this was a really fun build. I enjoyed I enjoyed doing all of them. I mean I haven't had one that I didn't enjoy yet. But when I stated, you know, you like some the way they turn out better than others. And this is no case, no different. This is not a different case. It's, I love this car. I like the way it turned out. Really super cool. And I hope I hope the owner really likes it. But if you don't remember what it turned, what we started out with, we started out with this. And, you know, it's a beautiful casting and everything. And it looks really good. But as always, I just believe we can do better. So let's try it and see. This is what I came up with. This is what, what the end product was. Hope you enjoy.